স্টেম সাইজিং এগুলো একটু সম্বন্ধে বলতে পারেন আর কি আর কোনো কোয়ারি থাকলে আমাদের <laughs> 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 চুল নাই তো ওই জন্য মাথায় ক্যাপ দেওয়া রাখি আমি আমিও তাই স্যার আমার ওই রুগিটা যে দেখে আসছেন আপনি একটু একটা প্লাজমা দেন না ম্যানেজ করে বস আরে দেবো না সমস্যা নেই হ্যাঁ একটু প্লাজমা কালকে ম্যানেজ করে দেন ও তো কোভিড পজিটিভ হয়েছে তো আর আপনার আইসিউ তে আছে কারণ ওই সময় পাইলে যে লাভ হবে তার অন্য সময় পাইলে লাভ হবে পয়সা করি না অত অত হবে না কারণ তাদের আছে গ্রামের মধ্যে তো জমি জমা আছে কিন্তু কথা হলো যে মানে এখন প্লাজমা প্লাজমা শুনেন শুনেন আপনি নিজের মানুষ হিসেবে বলি যতই থাকুক এই সময় আপনি এত দিছিলেন সারা জীবন বলবে হ্যাঁ তো ঠিক আছে সেটা আমি করতেছি আপনি একটু টেক কেয়ার করেন আমি দেখব আমি দেখব জি তাহলে আমি আপনার কথা খুব বলেছি যে না না আমি ওই জিনিস সকালে দেখছি তো হ্যাঁ আমি বলছি তারপর আজাদ খান সাহেব সবচেয়ে যে বড় এইটা এই প্রতিষ্ঠানের শুরু করতে চাচ্ছি স্যার স্যার আপনার পারমিশন নিয়ে टीम Actually, today it is a burning issue regarding the variety of hip system management, especially that is anatomically difficult hip like uh, dysplastic hip, that is leg calvary parsis disease hip and high rise of trochanteric hip system as well as anatomically deformed proximal hip system and this astrum evolves a burning rising question in this situation to how to solve this problem and in this scenario astrum hip system that is modular hip system especially in stem system creates a new era in the orthopedic total hip system so our today's our panelist is professor dr amjad hussain sir is the chief of 
orthopedic and arthroplasty department of levet hospital and i my special congratulation and gratitude to professor amjad hussain as because he is elect, elected as the vice president of secord it is a prestigious organization in the orthopedics era also he is the now he is elected as the president of shark orthopedic association this is we are pleased sir for this two prestigious uh, uh post you occupying in this pand corona pandemic situation it is because of you all uh, <laughs> okay go okay on. sir thank you all mm -hmm. and now i going to just slight introduce to our dedicated to arthroplasty speaker especially dr mohammad hasan masood is the professor and head of the department of uh, orthopedic surgery sir solimulla medical college he is not he is only, only dedicated to arthroplasty he is a, also a arthroscopic surgeon both at the hip knee and as well as shoulder arthroscopy he is doing he is a total overall an expert in arthroscopy and arthroplasty arena of this orthopedics discipline our next speaker is dr parvez ahsan he is the professor and head uh, professor and uh, of the orthopedic department of ibn sina medical college dhaka he is also expert in arthroplasty arthroscopy of hip knee and shoulder he is uh, doing lot of uh, work in this uh, arthroplasty in uh, arena of the orth arthroplasty orthopedic group of bangladesh and our next speaker is a very expert in knee and hip arthroplasty surgery as well as he is an expert in uh, knee arthroscopy he is working in the as a assistant professor of uh, orthopedic surgery and in our institute that is national institute of traumatology and orthopedic rehabilitation all are dedicated to our arthroplasty subject and i am hope they are are the very ideal uh, example for the young children we are going to or eagerly wish to do the arthroplasty in our country so now i am uh, going to uh, 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 request our first speaker dr mohammad hasan masood to talk on surgical technique tricks and hints of astrom system kayam choudhury ke purichoy kore dao na kayam bhai ashen ekhane sir he the director kayam choudhury he the director yes. general of sir, sir, in this uh, webinar is our it is our great pleasure, pleasure to introduce yes. our professor sir that is kayam choudhury sir he is the director of bardem uh, sir hey, he is the general we uh, report it no 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 man he is the director general general this total total chief of 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 uh, bardem yes and he is a great uh, arthroplasty surgeon and yes. he is a very important past, person in the ao aspect in our yes. country he was the past president of, of ao council AO. bangladesh mm. still he is working with us yes sir Italy. good he is yes. a great mentor and idol to our young orthopedic orthopedic surgeon please doctor Hasan Masood. Uh, thank Naushad, you. Noshat, Noshat, skin sharing bond the court. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Dr. Jim Jangirasan, uh, and a very good to everyone. Uh, just, I would like. to talk on esrom system and the surgical techniques tricks and hints and what does the acronym esrom stands for it is the shivas range of motion hip replacement and shivas hip system was introduced before but in in uh, actually it was uh, introduced in russia it was the name of a scientist 
uh, and in 1971, US Surgical Corporation obtained license to manufacture it in US. And in 1982, it was sell, sold from US Surgical to JMP. And then the SRN and Noilis rotating uh, hinge knee was made and several design changes were done in knee and hip also. And design of hip finalized in 1984 and launched in 1985. Then the JMP was bought by J and J, General Johnson and Johnson, in 1995, and then the journey started, and it was a successful journey. And now, the Isrom surgical technique. There are three simple steps. Number one, the distal rimming. This is the distal rimming. Then cone rimming and then the triangle rimming. These are the three types of rimming needed in the surgical technique and accurately matching the femoral canon and no brooches are needed. And neck resection, it can be conservative. So see here, there is a vertical cut and there is a horizontal cut. And for the canal entry, we use box osteotome and stepped starter rimmer. This is the stepped starter rimmer. And first of all, you have to do the preoperative templating. And all the size should be noted in the X-ray. Thus, in this X-ray, see the cut and the uh, after templating, uh, all the uh, things are written in the X-ray. And you see, when we do the ordinary total hip replacement, the neck cut is like the black line. But in a strong, usually we do it in a vertical cut and a horizontal cut. And see here, this is the femoral head. This is the horizontal cut by the saw. And this is the vertical cut. So after removal of the head, head is like that with horizontal cut and vertical cut. So at first, the distal rimming. Distal rimming, rimming is by half millimeter increments and start with eight millimeter rimmer. Eight millimeter rimmer, this is the eight millimeter rimmer. And rim until the cortex is failed. If in doubt, rim more. This step defines stem size and color. Rim to 0 0.5 millimeter greater than the definitive stem size for half the length of the stem. See here, this is the larger stem, 0.5 mm greater for the proximal half of the canal. And ensure that the entry point is lateral enough to align with the isthmus. Avoid various position of the stem. In every hip replacement like a hemiarthroplasty or in total hip replacement, always the thing to avoid various position of the stem. And remove the overhang from greater trochanter if present with a straight or conical remark. This is the conical remark. And you can use also the step, a straight remark. Pay attention to revision situation. And see here the enlargement of the metaphysis with the conical remark. And it enables better alignment of the straight remark with the isthmus. And it, see here, it is the tip of the trochanter and this is the mark on the remark. And see the remark and the trial prosthesis. And this is the total strom assembly. And now the cone remark, start with B remark and if necessary, progress to D and F as for example, 18D, rim progressively until surgeon can feel the anterior cortex in the metaphysis. And the pilot shaft, the green 13 into 18, this is the pilot shaft, maintains the alignment. This is the pilot shaft, and this is the conical rimmer. 
and after rimming with the conical rimmer. See here, this is the conical portion. And avoid the notching of the anterior cortex here. See here, it is the lateral view, Lowenstein lateral view, there is notching of the anterior cortex. So in cone, cone rimmer, witness mark neck length 30, 36, or 42 millimeter should be um, uh, there. And you have to choose which one you will select. Do not drive in reverse. If you drive reverse, these are simply of the distal pilot will occur. So pilot shape, this green 13 into 18 maintains the alignment. See here, this is 30, 36, and 42. According to need, the tip of the gator token touch, you have to mm, measure. Do not reference to the level of the neck osteotomy. And this is the triangle rimmer. Instrument allows bone to be removed for any triangle position, but not in the gator token touch. It is the position, like, but not in the gator token touch. And see here, this is the triangle rimming. When cancellous bone from here, from the calcar, above the calcar, when cancellous bone is removed, triangle size may be read off as a small, large, or extra large. Be careful not to select an extra large triangle with a B or D cone because it doesn't exist. And definitive slip becomes 18D large. See here, this is the triangle you meet. And it is the miller, milling of the bone uh, in the lesser trochanter, but rim not um, very much. And the modular trials re replicate the prosthesis. This is the distal pilot shaft. This is the trial stem body, trial neck, trial sleeve, and the trial head. And you can adjust the version, but version of the neck, but in uh, non-cemented or cemented the uh, conventional prosthesis. If once you insert the stem, you cannot um, just change the antiversion of the stem. So here, yeah, see, this is not the antiversion in relation to the knee, but in relation to the slip. See the antiversion. This is the line, anterior border, and this is the uh, slip border. And so after insertion, we have to test the stability, inflection, adduction, and internal rotation. And after trial, we have to insert the definitive prosthesis. And see here, implant slip, not with too long stems, and wipe the debris from inside slip before implanting the stem, and set version using the diathermy mark. See here, this is the lesser token term. And uh, just in, uh, below, this is the lesser token term. And here, you have to mark with the trial stem, the antiversion. And you have to insert the final uh, conical stem and neck according to that mark. See here. It is the final prosthesis, and final prosthesis is inserted, and real antiversion in relation to the condyles. And after that, you have to suture. If you go by posterior approach, you have to suture the external rotators to the greater trochanter. And retrievability, this is very valuable in case of sepsis, recurrent dislocation, and periprosthetic fracture. You see, after insertion of the main prosthesis, if you see, there is increased antiversion. You can change the version of the neck. And in case of sepsis or recurrent dislocation, you can change also the version of the neck and change 
the portion of the uh, implant according to your need. The SROM has excellent retrievability and these benefits should not go unnoticed. And young patients often require further surgical procedures. And in some cases like DDH, polio, um, in these cases there are increased antiversion. And to change the version, this is the system we can depend on. And retrievability, taper may be broken using your ways when you retrieve it after uh, any infection or anything when needed. You can retrieve the taper by uh, this ways. This ways you can uh, retrieve it. Interoperatively for last minute adjustments of version, postoperatively to change version for a recurrent dislocator, and years later to revise a stem or to replace with a longer one to splint a fracture like in periprosthetic fracture. So sleeve may also be removed. Sleeve remover aids in revision or cases of sepsis. See, to retrieve the sepsis. The sleeve makes the strom a relatively easy retrievable compared with distally fixed or even proximally coated one piece designs. So you can use also the long stem, straight or bold. Prepare the proximal femur as in primary case. If using a thin diaphysis remark, advance the remark to the depth of the implant, you plan to use increasing progressively the diameter. And it is very useful if you use the flexible cannulated remarks like the Evo remarks, introduce the guide and then progressively ream on the guide wire. See here, this is the Evo flexible remark. You can ream easily for the long stems because there may be bowing or there may be narrowing. So in that case, you can use the flexible remarks. This is the flexible reaming. When using a long stem, over rim of one millimeter if the bone is strong and if there is no significant deformity of the femur and over rim of two millimeter if the bone is weak and or if there is significant deformity. So this is a case of SROM. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Professor Hassan Masood for your excellent talk uh, regarding the S-room in the technique, tricks and hints. Actually, S-room is a modular STEM system, uh, which are used in difficult anatomic situation. Like already you have mentioned, that is uh, dysplastic hip, that is leg calvi practices and the deformity which are made from the different type of arthritis as well as infection. You also uh, shown your slide as well as you explain how to introduce different type of reaming like distal reaming, proximal reaming and calcar or cone reaming. You have and shown this is difficult. So thank you for your uh, talks. And especially you have sh shown that uh, that is the astrum is usually stem is uh, shorter than the normal conventional uh, stem of the prosthesis, total hip stretcher. I, mean, I think this is the good for a narrow canal and short stressor system for Asiatic person. Okay, thank for your crystal clear uh, tricks and tricks technique. Our next speaker is Dr. Farvez Alson, who will talk on versatility of astrum hip system. Please, Dr. Parvez uh mute yourself and go, go on and talk. Dr. Parvez please. Yes, ma'am. You have PowerPoint touch current. PowerPoint, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, take us. Go on. 
এখন প্রথমে যেতে হবে মাঝখানে আছে primary like DDH and it can also be used in revision THR. <coughs> now comes history. Previously, Dr. Professor Hassan Masood have already given some details of the history of the SROM. It has been invented by Shivash, Shivash in the year of 1971 and started his journey to 1972. In the year of uh, 75, ASRN, Sinivash R and Nicholas has already been seen this device. In, in 1984, early SROM was uh, well played, and in in 1985, SROM was marketed, and it later on Johnson and Johnson marketed this device. Sivash. In 1956, development started. The name of the surgeon was Constantine Shivash. He was working in the Central Institute of Orthopedics and Traumatology, which was in Moscow. You can see uh, that uh, it, it started in Moscow, but now it is, has been marketed in USA. So that the polar, that means global changes occurred. So what is SROM? Shivash, range of motion. It had already been said by Professor Hassan Masood. Sivash, early work involved stainless steel and cobalt chrome alloys. Later on, it changes in 1967. Titanium femoral stem was developed with a sleeve that locked into the stem. This sleeve initially was circular in section and a hard had a collar to load the calcar. This was the historical photograph of the Sivash of the total hip prosthesis. In the year of 1971, US Surgical Corporation obtained the license to manufacture in USA. That means it was initially started in Russia and in 1971, US started the manufacture in USA. Sivash Russian notes, SRN. In the year of 1975, Polythene socket added a range. You can see there is a polythene socket and it increases range of movement. Then longitudinal fluids is added, longitudinal fluids and added, and it can be used on cementless. SROM in 1984, <clears throat> the design was finalized. The metal turned into from stainless steel to titanium used in cementless hip system. It was modular, you can see in modular, and it started in, again, I'm telling this, 1985. Uh, this JMP was first bought, uh, and it was bought by JNG in 1995, and successfully uh, uh, practiced in USA, uh, practiced in primary, uh, primary THR and in revision mm -hmm. markets and about one lakh implanted to date. 
these are the part these are the taper part these are neck body the this is a proximal diameter this is a neck length range of motion and this is the distal diameter <coughs> we should uh, before going to surgery we should pre operative templating is very important and it reduces the use of inventory you can see the uh, uh, how the uh, templating is done uh, that has been already shown by hasan masood there this is the stem as well as this is the cone with the we are doing the templating for the cone the length it can be available in various length standard long x extra long and double x long these are the long that means it can be used in different <coughs> sizes that is the uh, versatility of this stem different sizes have been shown by double x and that means different color coding are there this is very important picture you have to see the this is the neck length you can see uh, this is the cone different types of cone you can change this uh, during version and in our side there is a sleeve and this is the, the lateral lateral offset neck lengths three neck lengths are available one is 30 mm 36 mm and 42 mm this is an allergy ha allergy doctor jake dekhate chai sei bodrolok kalke bojbe ki nai please put it unmute head neck length options are there lot of head neck length are uh, there is option you can see the head neck length this are lot of options you can change it in different direction from 22 mm to 32 mm are available in di different <coughs> chemical content <clears throat> styles this is the standard style stand standardized with lateral offset this is the lateral offsets this is the calcar you can change that this is the calcar replacement is there that's why this is so versatile there are standard style standard with additional offset lateralized then it gives the lateral and calcar replacement is also there two additional offsets are available plus 4 lateral and plus 8 lateral this is plus 4 you can increase the, this is normal you can increase the lateral offset <coughs> there okay calcar replacement the add, add 21 mm of metal to replace lost bone there are lot of cases we find there is the lost bone and the neck can be lateralized option we have seen this this is the neck you can lateral lateralize the option that can be used in case of fractures revisions and also tumor i will show two cases coronal slot clotsus peg reduces distal stiffness of the stem it reduces the effect of modulus mismatch and reduces the incidence of thigh pain and also the fracture this is proximal sleeve we you have seen this is the proximal sleeve you can see different uh, types of proximal sleeve the inner sleeve this is the estrom these are the different this is the inner sleeve this is the proximal outer sleeve summary the, it is a triangular shaped to resist rotation it sets a version and it corrects the version it step to transmit the compressive loads it address the proximal and distal mismatch it in the load in the region its most viable hose bone and proven trapper lock you can change the set the version through this way there's a lot of changes of version needed you can see the uh, through this is a strom you can change your version this is the versatility of the changing the version 
we may in normal total hip replacement implant you cannot change so much version so this is the way you can change the version proximal slip load in the region of most viable hose bone you can see the proximal slip this is proximal slip it, it can be used in primary ddh and revision stem independent of version and it is greater trochanter lesser trochanter and the region you can see the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter can be used this is this is the head neck and this is the stem so it can uh, change about 180 degree you can see the how the opposite way the bone is here stem, uh, there and the neck is there this is the room at its best when you motion best room i will uh, show two case study uh, abul bashar who is 48 43 years old boy he was a dysplastic hip with diabetes mellitus his limb was shortened about 6 cm and thigh was wasted about 2 cm you can see his limb length discrepancy about 6 cm this is his pre operative x ray this is operative picture we remove the head this is this plastic femoral head after insertion of the stem and head this is the post of x ray of the estrom estrom is uh, this is a, one of the literature review where they have shown in severe development dysplasia of the hip of the 10 years result using a cementless modular stem and they found the harris hip score it was initially 37 and after 10 years harris hip score come to about 81 that is the result is good i am showing the second case arban who is 16 years old there was a pain and restricted movement of the left hip for two years. You can see there is a bone tumor here. The question is, what can we do? So is, um, there was a pathological fracture there, and there is no option to do anything except SROM. This is a view of CT scan. You can see there is no bone here, no bone stock here. You can see the whole head has, there is no bone in the neck. This was the head in operative period. You can see the only these are the bone of the femoral head after removal. This is the neck. After removal of the head, this is the neck. There was no bone. After insertion of the s from hip, this is the operative picture. This is the preoperative x-ray. This is the post-operative x-ray. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Parvez Asan, for the versatility of astrom hip system in respect of the uh, that is offset short, uh, limb length discrepancy and uh, uh, dysplastic heat. And yeah, this is an excellent talk. Thank you for Dr. Farbaz Hassan. Our next speaker, Dr. A.M. Furiduddin, he will talk on modularity of S room. Dr. Furid, please share your screen and unmute yourself. Thank you. 
I'm not a Republican since Dr. Yes. Hey, I see. Yes, we can see you. Presentation. Presentation the other chess, but up like a dictator chin, sir. A chess motion, I'm a canadic. Yes, sir. Perfect. So, welcome everybody to even around the versatility of the SOM system. Basically, I'll talk a little on the modularity of the. Uh, SROM system. Basically, total uh, my total lecture is already has been taken. Still, I'll recapitulate something. You know, arthroplasty is a highly demanding surgery. Target of arthroplasty is painless, mobile, complication free, and long lasting. Then it is successful total hip arthroplasty. And we know all that uh, there are a lot of variations in the hip pathologies. And all pathologies we cannot do by the uh, the traditional normal heap system. Some requires a little bit modific modification and a lot of things. And ISLAM comes with the, all the answers in case of dysplastic and complex heaps. So what is ISLAM already has been talked a lot about the ISLAM. Uh, so I'm not going to uh, discuss these things again. So some uh, five silver bullets regarding the uh, ASROM is the long-term clinical heritage, 22 years of clinical success. And all pathologies could be addressed with the uh, ASROM system. That's the important thing. It could be used in primary revision or DDAs. And it is gold standard in the femoral biomechanics regarding function and mobility. And it has an excellent modularity. That means you can change a lot of things. I'll discuss a little bit uh, in my lecture. Uh, sur surgical technique is uh, already acu uh, accurate and reliable. And it is tissue sparing. There is less uh, soft tissue damage in this system. So what are the modularity? So before going to uh, discuss uh, the, uh, we, we can see the uh, s from different parts, this is head. As the important issue in the head is the very large head, and this head has multiple holes. We know that standard uh, head of the hip system has uh, three holes in the head. So we can uh, use the three screws, but in case of ASROM system, there are uh, multiple holes. What is the advantage? Uh, in case of revision and some dysplastic hip, you cannot put the screw in the standard position as because bone may be deficient. So it is very difficult to fix it, that situation. In those cases, you can easily use the ASROM, which has the multiple hole in different places. So you can use it in different. Uh, another striking feature, you see there's a hole here. My pointer goes at the hole at the neck. Advantage of the uh, hole, what is the advantage? In case of revision, or in the uh, if, if the uh, extra, yeah, short rotators are detached uh, or the uh, I'm sorry abductors are detached, you can attach with the uh, this hole. Uh, that is another important striking feature of the ASROM system. And this is the uh, neck. It is already modular. It has different system. So some it helps some mismatch to, uh, to meet the mismatch. Uh, in proximal and distal diameter. Some places there is a uh, standard uh, diameter in the shaft, but neck is much wide. Then you can use this thing is a larger uh, cone so that proximal distal diameter mismatch could be uh, managed. Another thing is the, uh, this is the stem. We have also, uh, Dr. Parvajas also already told about the uh, stem that 
there are multiple length and straight and bend difference are available. So neck geometry uh, already uh, talked, there are uh, three neck lengths available, 30, 36, and 42. What's the utility? utility? You know, in this plastic hip, there is a very short neck, coxabara, very short neck. So if you go to uh, insert the standard neck, at that time, there may be difficulties in reduction. And if you reduce difficultly, that may uh, produce the uh, pressure on the uh, thigh muscles and the neurovascular structure, and sometimes sciatic palsy may happen. In that case, you can choose the short neck. And in some cases where there is a deficiency of the bone, calcar is deficient, you can then choose the large neck. So that is extra advantage of ASCOM system that is not available in case of standard hip replacement system. And Professor Parvez has sir, already described that version adjustment. This is very important issue. I am going to say standard total hip stem insert kori ba rim kore feli tokhon tar version ta jodi dekha jacche pore reduction er shomoy difficult hoye jay tokhon version change ta kintu oi stem tar theke kora khub mushkil hoye jay very difficult hoye jay kintu uh, in case of a shrom amra jodi dan pashe chobi tai dekhi tahole e je je standard je version sei version ta ke amra anti version much improve korte pari even we can produce much retro version a, this is the unique facility of changing the uh, version that is not available in case of standard. Mm -hmm. So another thing is head is much larger. If there is larger head, it uh, provides the uh, extra range of motion and it also reduces the wear in the uh, implant and thus improving the longevity. This also uh, nicely described by the Professor Parvis sir that there is a uh, uh, neck standard, lateralized, and the calcar replacement. So could be used in different scenario that is not available in standard implant. So, you know, the distal stability also another unique feature. So distal length, it, there may be standard, it may be straight, uh, it, it standard uh, um, stem usually stain, and it may be long, and long nail and uh, long stem may be straight, maybe left car, maybe lie, right car, uh, depending on the uh, geometry or, of the canal of the bone. And the extra long and extra, extra long. So in case of the slender uh, lady here, uh, uh, the picture shows, then this is, you can use the standard uh, SROM system. But if there is this, uh, like this uh, boxer, huge heavyweight uh, boxer, then you should use the uh, extra long and uh, stronger on. That is all, that is another unique feature of the a that that is not available in case of standard uh, hip system. So another feature uh, of the a Estrom uh, is the distal diameter, sizing to minor diameter, uh, it is uh, uh, splints by to cortex and provide resistance to torque. So we can see here there is a multiple spiky things. Uh, this uh, uh, goes uh, or enters inside the bone. So rotational rotationally it makes the implant much stable. Especially in case of dysplastic hip, we have to do subtrochanteric osteotomy. And below osteotomy, this type of uh, um, spikes that enters within the bone and today, in, and it helps to uh, distal rotational stability, get the distal rotational stability. And another feature is the polished distal stem. Distal stem highly polished, that's the advantage. So, there is no osteo integration in the distal uh, stem. So it is very easier to remove when there is requires revision either due to infection or due to failure or due to dislocation or if, if you require uh, to uh, correct the version. So is it to remo remove? No stress shielding usually happens in the bone. So there is less thigh pain. 
So in conclusion, I can say that the ASTROM is very versatile. Judicious use in complex primary and revision cases can reduce uh, par and post-operative complications and may provi provide excellent long-term long survival. Thank you. Thank you all for patience sharing. Thank you, Dr. Pori, for your uh, excellent presentation in aspect of modularity of ASROM. You have shown a lot of uh, modularity and versatility of ASROM in different aspects, like uh, that is a change of version, change of um, offset and discrepancy. Thank you. Sir, uh, now you can, our session is Q&A session. In this session, first start, sir. Abdul, sir, please unmute yourself. Abdul, so, sir, please. Hello. 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 बहु बस आगे ना मसूद पंथपथे ना एक रूम तक प्रथम तो तक आलोचना भूले ग मैं मार्केट कर मजा टाइल तैरियत यूनियन राशिया मार्केट करते हैं सिंगापुरे देखो भलो देखिए तो शुद्ध पार्भेस के दिए शुरू करी सेकेंड केस टाइम बस तो षोलो बस टीमार केस ये स्ट्रिक्टलि फलो करते कारण सीमेंटेड दवा निश्चय है अनसिमेंटेड दवा तैना पार्भेस आसान आनमिट करो आनमिट तुम ये नन सीमेंटेड जो कर मैं सीमेंटेड तो करा नहीं नन सीमेंटेड करिटी से भय चान्स Uh, revi revise it because yeah. there is 
फिर आसते ट्रेनिंग मन मोहन दास मेयटे मेयटे पृथ्वी मोहन दासिटल मोहन दास खुब आग्रह देखिए इंडिया It could have been a wonderful program, Hassan Masood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have never seen it. Yes, sir. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Our celebrity is Dhawan. Hello, our shop Jani. Shop Janta. Shite, shite. So, what is going on? So, Jack, so, from our side, question is, the next day, the cartesi, our. Sir. So, above, the one that the lesser talkenter, thakena. Sir. The lesser talkenter, nine. Sir. The one that 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 the शुक्रवार टिटी <laughs> 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 proximal segment e doctor yeah. transfer hocche ei jonno sir revision er shomoy subidha distal e eta ke distal canal ta ke involve kore na sir ei jonno revision er shomoy aro beshi subidha sir o to jodi proximal to sir load ta ji sir proximally load porte hoy triangular portion ta proximally thakte se sir load ta proximally porte hoy ebong shudhu tai na sir je greater token ta kichu ongsho nai jodi ia ase abductor ase just abductor je doctor fori dekhaiche je hole hole abductor amra lagai dite pare tarpore posterior approach e je oi je external rotator guli thake oi khane sir ota lagai dewa jay to oi jonno sir eigulo sir extra benefit mane bone loss thaklo ei je ei ta diye sir mane iye kora jay ar ekta subidha sir offset guli change kora jay sir eta o sir age ekta fori ebong bolche bolche ji sir ji sir हिप 
তারপরে হচ্ছে আরো ডিফরমিটি হ্যাঁ ভার্সন চেঞ্জ তারপরে পোলিওর পেশেন্ট এদের ভার্সন গুলি এক্সাক্ট ভার্সন আনার জন্য স্যার এইটা ছাড়া কোনো উপায় নাই স্যার উপায় নাই আমরা স্যার ওই যে মানে এই ডিডিএইচ এ যদি রিম করতে চাই ব্রোজ দিয়ে মানে স্ট্যান্ডার্ড যেগুলো আমরা টোটালি করি সিগনিতে রিম করার সময় দেখা যায় যদি ল্যাটারাল ভিউ এক্স রে আগে না করি তাহলে অনেক সময় বোন নরম থাকলে স্যার পারফরেশন হওয়ার চান্স থাকে কারণ ওই যে অ্যান্টিভার্সন তো বেশি থাকে কাজে ওইভাবে যদি করতে যাই তখন স্যার সমস্যা হয় কিন্তু এইখানে স্যার এইটা নাই স্যার ওই যে আমাদের তো তার তিনটা রিমিং তো স্যার মানে <laughs> 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 ডক্টর <laughs> 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 যেখানে খুব বেশি যেহেতু যেখানে সেখানকার জন্য স্যার এই আশ্রমটা পারফেক্ট নাম্বার ওয়ান কেমন আরিফ তো আছে এখানে কেমন ইউজ হয়েছে আমি আটটা করছি এখন কি জিনিসপত্র আছে নাকি নাই এরা কিছু আরিফ আছে
ব্যবহার করলাম এখানে তো আপনাদের শর্ট স্টেপ তাই না লং স্টেপ কি আছে মানে সবচেয়ে বড়টা আছে তার কোন কথা আছে জিজ্ঞেস করো এবং Uh, it was a, there was basically it was a pathological fracture and uh, when we get the case it simply there was a fracture the head and neck there was no relation when you get the case at that time we removed the head and replaced it uh, by totally and uh, we found that the acetabulum surface also damaged within this time can no damage can no holo karon ta to head bhalo chilo pabe pabe machkhane আমার <laughs> পরে <laughs> ছিল কি না সেটাই আর কি তাই না ফরিদ দিয়ে বোন গ্রাফ্ট ফরিদ যেটা বলতে চাচ্ছে 
বা হিপ স্ক্রু দিয়ে হিপ স্ক্রু তো কোশ্চেনই আছে না হিপ স্ক্রু বা বোন সিমেন্ট দিয়ে আমরা ওগুলা সবই অপশন রাখছিলাম বাট আমি দেখলাম যে হেডটা নাই টোটাল হেড সো শেষ না হেডটাই নাই प्रथम बारे फ्रैक्चर मुश्किल मुश्किल हिसाबल मैलिगनेंसिपरे चलाफेर मुश्किल मैं 
বিপদে পড়লে এটা আসলে খুব ভালো যাদের পা ছোট বড় ওদের থেকে পরে এটা ভার্সালিটি পরে বুঝছি যার পা ছোট বড় এই শ্রম দিতাম তারপরে ওই ডিসপ্লাস্টিক হিপ এরপরে করলাম তারপরে কলস লাগাও কলস কলস তো আছে এদের তো কলস আছে কলস লাগার কলসটা সুন্দর তাহলে আপনি শেষ করে দেন একটা টপিক দিয়ে দাও আরেকটা হ্যাঁ আমাদের এবিসি তো হ্যাঁ এবিসি তো বন্ধ হয়ে গেল আবার এবিসি তো শুরু করো আমি স্যার আজকে জিনিস একটু শেয়ার করতে চাইছিলাম কনক্লুড করার আগে স্যার হ্যাঁ <laughs> 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 আগামীকাল সন্ধ্যা সাতটা তিরিশ মিনিটে স্যার আমি স্যার আপনাদের সবাইকে স্যার একটা মেইল দিয়েছি ওখানে স্যার রেজিস্ট্রেশন করার সবাই <laughs> 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 তিন চলে মানে বছর চলে গেল এই বাংলাদেশে আমরা পঞ্চাশ বছরে পৌঁছতেছি ষোলোই ডিসেম্বর আসতেছে আজকে হলো বারো তারিখ না আজকে হলো এগারো তারিখ সবাইকে বিজয় দিবসের আগাম শুভেচ্ছা থাকলো ভালো থাকেন সুস্থ থাকেন নিরাপদে থাকেন